Live from WWL-TV, this is the Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off tonight. Recently, we have seen an increase in violent crime in New Orleans. Yeah, in January, Mayor LaToya Cantrell created a violent crime reduction task force to fight it. Well, now four months in, the council's asking if it's working. And today, the head of that task force gave an update. Melissa Curtis is joining us now in the studio. You were there for that update. Yes, yes I was, and today's meeting was very contentious. There's disagreements between council and the task force on two major issues, whether crime is down and what exactly the task force is expected to do. During Wednesday's Crime Reduction Task Force presentation to City Council, Chairman of the Task Force Tyrell Morris used data to show crime is down. I'm in no way saying that we are out of this violent crime crisis, no whatsoever. Uh, we still have a lot of work to do, um, but I do think it's important to share the information with the public. But some council members aren't convinced. What I dislike vehemently is when we try to have a political rosy picture without the caveat that the picture might not be as rosy as people think. Council President J.P. Morrell says Morris's data doesn't show crimes that weren't reported or followed up on. With the NOPD struggling with retention, Morrell points out that response times have severely increased, which affects the data. He says response times for violent crime in March of last year was at an average of 84 minutes. March of this year, he says, is at 106 minutes. Violent crime, as we understand it, has not necessarily gone down substantially. It's just that you don't have a lot of people that are willing to wait. Morris says he uses NOPD's information, but is willing to work together to get on the same page. Sometimes as systems change, strategies change, we don't always reset and get a good definition of what the data is. Another topic that not everyone is on the same page about what the task force is really supposed to do. The point of the task force is to support the made brave men and women on the street um, fighting crime every day, but also make sure every city department uses every resource available to them to c combat violent crime. I don't think it's like this urgent task force that's working on a daily basis to try to come up with all different types of solutions. The presentation already had initiatives that we've already known about that individual city departments had been working on. Council members are also pushing for more public engagement from the task force, saying they can't get behind proposed solutions if those don't include input from those directly impacted.